Where's everyone going? Bingo? Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. Oh no. Injection. <laughs> so, the plot of this game it is absurd. Is dumb in the best way because every action by the enemies in this game is like so generically evil but when you actually consider them in like a sequence of events they make zero sense of like what they're trying to do because apparently they're trying to inject you to turn you into a zombie and they just let you walk around because I guess that's going to be good enough and that's how you ruin everything yeah which it's like <laughs> I, the thing I don't get is like okay cool he's He's giving us troubles with our plans. We can stick him in the neck. Or we can just cut off his head, you know? That well, it's kind of like... You, when you pull a plot like this, and you have the plot element of we're not going to kill the hero because he could be useful to us later, you have to establish how that's... Like, how that works. And, like, if you your plot eventually reaches the point, oh, no, we totally are going to kill the hero. Like... There's not a lot of change in RE4 between what Leon is doing when we need to kill him and what Leon is doing when we can just let him wander around and ruin all our shit. Right. Which, like, you, you've played through both, um, like, separate ways and all that oh, other yeah. stuff. So, yeah, you've... Then I, I assume you, you recognize where this guy's coming from, right? Like, one of the Ada games. Yeah. Or the Ada this segments. This guy's own... Also, he, this is the guy who stole Leon's jacket. It's like, or at least no, that's, that's that not, model I've been on. Uh, no, it's not actually. It's the dude that's uh, clean shaven, slender head. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, Skeezy guy. There's like five, <laughs> there's like five Ganados. So. Yeah, five total. But. Um, oh, look, yeah. it's a bug. And I don't remember which one it was or what it was, but pretty much. I think Ada, like, fl like uses her grapple gun to, like, flip him, like, eight times and kicks him across the room <laughs> or something. And now at this Separate point, way. he's like, I'm, I just want you all dead. <laughs> Separate ways. Um, we might maybe do a thing on Separate Ways after this. I don't know if we'll play all the way through it. But we could take a look at it. It'd be cool to, you know, take a look at the conversion points they did. Um, but not Assignment Ada. <laughs> that was well, dumb. The thing is, Assignment Ada, you can beat Assignment Ada in like 10 minutes, so... Yeah, exactly. There's no reason to, because... Yeah, this... Because <laughs> so, this is what I mean about not making sense. It's kind of like, okay, we injected Leon with the bug, and he's going to be part of our plans now. But now we're going to kill him, apparently. I don't think that's the case with this guy. I think he's just straight pissed, and he just... Well, that's really bad communication on, like, the evil plot of the Masters here. He, that's... Yes. I would agree with that. <laughs> so, I just beat Evil Within, so that's going to be some fun comparisons to make now. Yeah, see, I still only played that first chapter. This, I'm not going to directly reference a lot of stuff, but there's... <laughs> to say there's a lot of parallels is an understatement. Okay, yeah, because, like, my PS4, like was not playing any Blu-rays or DVDs, so I had to get it, I had to send it in. So I've been sitting on that way, and I got Evil Within at home, it's like, Oops, come on. I accidentally skipped Hunnigan's conversation, because I'm so used to doing that, but... Well, that and her conversation's oh, useless. you know, you know how I just said I played Evil Within? Yeah. These controls are gonna be really hard to get used to. <laughs> Shit, wow, we have a lot of stuff. I, I forgot that we didn't do a whole lot of organizing, wow. Okay, yeah, this is bizarre, because I'm already trying to go to the D-pad to switch my guns. This could this could be a rough couple of episodes. <laughs> Fun fact, same guy voices yep, same, Leon. Same VA. Yeah. What are you buying? Yeah, okay. Oh, God, this is so weird. Yeah, I just f beat Evil Within last night. And this is like, because it's one of those things, it's really bad because it's not like that when you play like a completely different game and it's like the control skills, it's they're similar enough that I'm mistaking them for each other. Right. But they're different enough that they're not the same. Yes, running this is A. It's uh, not, the, it's not a uh, uh, L2. <laughs> I love, like, the merchant, this guy's to be one of the most universally beloved characters in all of gaming, and we know absolutely nothing about him. That's, I think that's part of the charm and to like, it. And, like, there's so many 
stupid things and stupid theories about this guy and like all the whole thing about his eyes glow later on, which is like a signal he's infected and maybe he's allied with Sadler and all this. Like, there's so much weird stuff with this guy. Right. I don't. I don't want to put too. I wouldn't put too much thought into that though, because it's like. If he was allied with Sadler, the moment he sold you a gun, he'd be calling Sadler saying, He got a rocket launcher now! Be careful! <laughs> well, like I said, there's just so much dumb stuff about this guy. It, it's but just... I love all of it. Oh, yeah. You can't not. Pearl Pendant? Oh, yeah, we can sell that. I mean, I guess you could not love it, but you'd be stupid. Red Cat's Eye, Beer Stein, we're keeping both of those. Yes. Um, I'm going to keep my mixed herbs because I think Leon here I have Max Health on, but I don't have Max Health on Ashley. Yeah. So I'll just keep all my... We're going to buy... Oh, we were going to buy the Punisher. You know, t t we have a lot of money. Why don't we just buy the Punisher? We can get it for free, but who cares? We're going to save 20... It's We have... Wait, <laughs> do, does this actually cancel? If I, did, did you actually get my money back if I cancel this? I don't know, but you might want to... I actually don't know that. Let's see. Yep, I got my money back. Okay. You're like, uh, not, not really. Good well, I'm gonna sell. I'll sell the red nine then, because we're going with Punisher. Bye bye, red nine. Yeah, you buy that at a high price. And stock. Oh no, no, I don't want to sell my mind thrower. No, that is like a weapon to keep in use. <laughs> we are buying the Punisher. Well, I hope this isn't as bad of a choice as I think it might be. <laughs> I. You told me it was good. I, we will see. It's, it's good for different reasons. I wonder if you have a money to upgrade it all the way. Uh, except for maybe the special. Oh, no, yeah, wait, you got the special. Well, so there's our max level Punisher now. Okay, so I think we have all of our stuff now we're going to use. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're going to use Punisher, TMP, Old Rifle, Killer 7, Mind Thrower, and we can sell the sh... Do we want to keep a shotgun at all? Because, you know... Oh... Like, that's... I'll... I love shotguns, so... Because here's the thing. <laughs> like, I kind of want to get... That's going to take... We're getting a, a lot of our inventory space taken up now. By yeah. all of these various guns. And we have that shotgun sitting in there. We're obviously not going to use that one. So I get There are three sl shotguns, right? We got the this one, the riot gun, and the striker. There's this one, the, the riot gun, and the striker. Um, I never upgraded the riot gun. Yeah, I haven't either. I don't actually think I've ever used the riot gun all the way because I've either just used the pump action because it's the first one you get, or I've just used the striker because it is easily the best one. <laughs> yeah, well, with a frickin' drum for your ammunition. So well, yeah, let's go with the, uh, I think let's that, go with the riot. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to give us a pretty good, pretty clear option here. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say just mix that. Get out of the way. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, we're uh, taking up a lot of. Let me organize this a little bit. Oh good. Oh, that is so nice. It's all three squares. They're gonna fit nice. Wait. So wait, I have the infrared scope and I have the scope. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of the infrared scope. Because we get it for free again later. Because we get it for free again later. We don't need it right now. Right. And it's way worse to use. Than the basic one for actually just normal shooting. Oh, oh, um, go down to the egg. It's gonna be really stupid, but I just love it. Select it and equip it. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. You and I've actually egged enemies in the face too. It just stuns them. You, well, yeah, I think you can actually. Technically, I think it does damage, and you can kill them with it. I think the golden egg. I think they actually like the ones that heal you the most do the most damage. So I think they actually do more damage with the better healing item you have for it. But I just love, like, the animation it just stands there and just... <laughs> ah. You're like, Let's see, what do we want to equip here? Oh, yeah, we're completely out of ammo. I actually had a rifle that loaded like that. It's so satisfying to load those things. Ah, oh, this area. There are a lot of varying opinions for how to get through this area, and a lot of varying ways to play through this game. I have always played through this game pretty gung-ho and pretty, like, military-focused in terms of taking out everybody. Um, I think generally that you obviously use more ammo if you do it that way. <laughs> I love how that guy just, like, goes, Wee! God, I'm trying to switch to the D-pad with my guns. Pfft. <laughs> 
Are you retarded? Come on. Pop your head up. So, but yeah, this area, and there's, because there's ways to play through this game. A lot of play, people play through this game like it's a strict survival horror game, and like really try to yep. conserve ammo and everything. I was going to say, at that point you should let them stack up, because that's what the Punisher's best with. So like when you've got large numbers of people. Well, I'm not worried about running out of ammo right now. Alright. So. I am just getting that, you know, the, my manner of playing, really. Just killed himself. I love dynamite guys in this game, they're so dumb. Yeah, this is a pretty safe spot. So this section is one of those uh, points where you can just run and do everything here, or you can kill everybody. Right. See, I personally always made my way up to the top of where all of them were zigzagging down, and then they would all just funnel straight up there. Okay. I don't know who killed what there, but... <laughs> Me neither, but works. See, I'm so, like, stocked up on ammo right now. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. Normally, I normal, I would eventually go up here, because, see, I like to stay at this spot until everybody... Like, I kind of get a break in the action. Right. This shotgun, I think what this one does the best is long range. This is the longest range out of all the shotguns. Yeah, I think this is... Um, less spread and further out. Oops, you just got pitchforked. Well, yeah, I was trying to run past everybody. Yeah. You're going where I go. Do that. It's bad, too, because, okay, in Evil Within, the, you, you just get classes of guns in that game. You don't get, like, individual guns. It's just, like, you get a handgun. And then you get a shotgun. And there isn't, like, classes of them. So for the whole game, I stuck with... Uh, crossbow on down, uh, sniper rifle on left, shotgun on right, and handgun on top of the pad. You see, the funny thing is, too... And so every time I'm switching, before I actually open my inventory to switch, I am hitting the D-pad to try and switch to them. It's uh, quite similar to the way they handled the inventory for Resident Evil 5, actually, because... <laughs> yeah, you... poorly. I actually... Well, I meant for the D-pad, like, for switching weapons and everything. That's, like... I would always have a healing item down, and then I'd have, like, my pistol up, my shotgun right, and rifle left. Them not continuing this inventory system in subsequent Resident Evil games is, like, criminal. This is such a good... This is, like, possibly one of the... The FHA case is possibly one of the best inventory systems in anything ever. Well, I mean, it would kind of explain why so many other games have used similar systems. I mean, if you recall, Deus Ex had one like it. Well, yeah, because it's, like, there's strategic... And it works in this so well, and it's kind of like, I think this did it, and not a lot has improved on it since then. Right. Nice. <laughs> because this really balances, like, the si like the size of everything you get well. And... You know... It's kind of, going to sound kind of weird, but I'd almost say it'd be fun to do a uh, small case run. Like, limit yourself to the small attaché case. Haven't you done, um... No, that's somebody else. That's Kai, the guy I do the Crypt Play videos with. He's done a ton of runs on this. And he's done a No Merchant run before. Oh, wow. And which he said was that's the hardest thing he's ever done in this game. Huh. Because, yeah, you get the tiny attaché case, only the guns you can pick up, no upgrading. Actually, you know what would be kind of weird to do? A pistol-only run. Um, something tells me you wouldn't get enough ammo. Like, you could always... Well, the drops are based more on your the items you have in your inventory, though. It's not, because you would, but I don't think you get enough to carry it through you the whole game if you were actually trying to use the pistol. Because, see, that's the thing with a lot of specialized runs in, like, this game. You can do it because you can get through with anything... But, like, as far as I'm concerned, the problem I run into is, is that actually fun to do? Which, like, I don't have fun with very many challenge runs, because it's usually just play the same game, but it's slightly more monotonous. And, like, I have fun with some stuff in Dark Souls, like the Dark Souls and the Souls games, because it's more about changing the mindset of how you play. Like, when right. you do a level 1 run in the Souls games, 
Should it's not necessarily all that difficult compared to a regular run. It's just you have to play it way differently. That barrel blows up. <laughs> oh, I know. Now he's dead. Sorry, I'm I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> Trying to stay as focused. Because, like, a lot of people, when they play through this section, they'll just run and try to grab all of the... That is gonna suck for you. <laughs> that is so gonna suck for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get away from it. Alright, it's just... Oh, stuff. this guy's a jerk. Because here's the thing with this Punisher, it's... I could see this being good with certain gun combinations, and now presumably this is upgraded all the way, so we could switch out at some point if we want to. I'm not saying we will, but, um, because, like, the thing of thinking about it is, like, I can see it being good situationally, but it's situational. Well, right. That I can see it being good, and it's kind of like, that. my mentality for something like the handgun in this game is that is my go-to, no matter the situation, it needs to be good. Which is like I'd go for Red Nine or Blacktail over this, right? Because well, where, the situations where this would be good, it would be good, but it wouldn't be in everyone. See, it's kind of like I think if you really thought out your combination of weapons, this could probably be um, like better, and that would probably be counteracted. Like if you find found a way, like if you played a really clinch run where you were like using the TMP to hit knees. And going for, like, suplex and stuff. And then you could bust out the Punisher for shielded enemies and armored enemies and stuff like that. Like, that I could see more? Right. See, part of it was I used, um... Okay, there's nothing up here. I actually didn't use the TMP when I played through it at all. So that's kind of where I, you know, leaned more on the Punisher for that reason. Because when it was upgraded, I could hit multiple enemies with each bullet. Versus the TMP, which gives you more rounds and throws them down the range faster. So it's kind of like my compensation for not having a full auto weapon was having a uh, multiple penetration pistol. So it kind of worked well for me in the way I was doing Cause that. Because that's, like, that's the thing. I am like a diehard TMP advocate. Everybody says that gun sucks. It's really, really good. The it, TMP. Yeah, and it's, it's quite just useful. Nobody knows how to use it well. It's um, The DMB is good for two things. It is a DPS weapon. One, it is upgraded all the way and you have a lot of clip. It is like a boss killer where you can just open up on somebody and you don't even have to consider aiming. And the other thing it's good for is being a handgun replacement when you want to go for knee shots and stuff like that. So you Definitely. can get your suplexes. Yeah, and for me, it was just a preference. I don't like... like Games like this, I find it less enjoyable to use a full automatic weapon. So I try to avoid using Cause see, them. It's the thing, like, um, I agree, like, RE5 went really overboard Yeah. on all of the like different automatic weapons you can get. Like, that's why I think the TMP works well here, because it's the only one. Exactly. Like, RE5... I had, they have like three or four different full auto, like, guns. Yeah. It's like, okay, I could see maybe doing two. It's the, Don't do three or four. You need to be really good at game design to get away with having different classes of the same gun and not have them feel too similar. Like, this is one of the only games that I think gets away with having multiple guns in the same class. But, like, because there are so many third-person shooters and first-person shooters and stuff where it's like, hey, we have eight shotguns. And it's like, no, you have, like, one and a half shotguns. Yeah. You have a shotgun, and then you have several other ones that are pointless. And, you know, if, you know, it, it, I'll, we'll let back a second when I re-explain that. Like, it'll end up being, like, you have eight actual shotguns, but in reality you only have two, and then they're just all variants on the ones you have. Like, I'd way rather play something like... Evil Within is a good example, or um, uh, the Uncharted games and uh, Last of Us. Uh, I feel Naughty Dog is really good at it, where they just kind of do, okay, you get a shotgun, and it is useful in these situations, and it is the best thing for that, and we're going to balance all our encounters around that. 